Where are you, Scott, right now? Uh, Greenville, South Carolina. What brings you to Greenville? Uh, there is a industry conference. Okay. Um, There's about uh, eight different companies. Nice. What are some of the companies that you're doing and what are you hearing from them? A lot of the largest third-party agencies are here and then um, also probably 50 law firms. Nice. Uh, they're generally talking about um, the increased volumes being placed for sure. Yeah. Um, the prediction that liquidation rates are going to be a little lower, but that's yeah. fine. Good volume is good volume. Yeah. Um, and how can they get smarter to still reach out to everybody, yeah. but do it in a way that um, optimizes cost and um, continued liquidation rates? Interesting. Yeah. Uh, cost, cost obviously is a big concern. How do people keep tabs on cost, keep it down? Uh, there's sort of two vectors that I'm hearing. One is you might dial and, and allocate a lot more labor toward yeah. accounts that you think deserve it. Yeah. But then on the other side, there's digital strategies are getting a lot of discussion. Um, I think for the most part, everybody has the bare minimums from a digital standpoint. Um, they send the same message to everybody. Yeah. Um, and they hope they pay. But there, there's more talk around uh, building the same types of models that you have for voice, building it in the digital space. Got it. Um, how, how, how do people balance voice and digital outreach? Different ways. Some people allocate it down one path or the other. Others are doing both at the same time. Okay. Um, and just make sure they literally don't happen on the same day. Yeah. But the, the, the campaigns will go on odd days and even days or something like that. Okay. So it varies. What, what are new trends in borrower scoring that have caught your fancy? The, the traditional FICO scores are what the industry has been built on for a while, but being able to extract new data insights, uh, obviously from Prodigal or out, out of the voice conversation, um, New Star I've heard referenced a handful of times, um, really just getting additional data sources yeah. to help bolster the effectiveness of either the voice or the digital strategies. What has been the impact of student loan payments? Um, I you, heard yeah. it's interesting that there, there's been a lot of discussion in this particular conference. They Someone asked the question, what percent of um, the accounts that um, are in play have a student loan trade line? It was 30 percent. Oh, wow. Which I I didn't know if it would be 10 or 50, but 30 made sense. They're, and and for that 30, they are um, they're unsure to what degree it's going to impact payment rates. Yeah. Uh, definitely will impact the size of the payment, but whether they're going to downright not pay is is um, less of a concern. Thank you so much, Scott, for bringing us this insight from Greenville, South Carolina. Greenville, South Carolina.